I'm going to be showing the connection between Romeo and Juliet, West Side Story, and Beat It. We're going to be looking at how the plot carries through and how the music and dance of West Side Story influenced Beat It. We're going to start with Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. I'm going to go over the plot briefly as well as some of the characters. So we're set in Verona where two families, the Capulets and the Montagues, are feuding. We're following Romeo, a Montague, and he is heartbroken by his love interest, Rosalind. He decides to crash a ball held by the Capulets, a masquerade ball, and looking for Rosalind. In doing so, though, he runs into Juliet. He immediately falls in love, and the two share a handful of scenes together where they share their love. They decide to marry in secret because their families are feuding. A few scenes later, Tybalt and Mercutio have a fight. Tybalt is Juliet's cousin, he's also a Capulet, and Mercutio is Romeo's best friend. In this duel, Mercutio dies, Romeo then exacts revenge, and he ends up killing Tybalt. Juliet is very distraught by the loss of her cousin. Her father tries to comfort her by saying he has arranged for her marriage to Count Paris. She's very upset over this because she not only doesn't love Count Paris, but she's already married, and she got on out to tell her father that she's married to a Montague. She decides to fake her death and takes a sleeping potion, which makes it look like she has died. Romeo finds her, is so distraught, ends up killing himself. Then Juliet wakes up, she sees that Romeo's killed himself, and then she goes and kills herself. And this is why it's such a tragic love story. This plot is carried into West Side Story. So West Side Story was a Broadway musical originally produced by Jerome Robbins and later turned into a film directed by Robbins and uh, Robert Wise. West Side Story follows the Romeo and Juliet plot almost verbatim. Uh, the only thing is that everything gets modified for a modern day 50s, 60s audience. So instead of a feuding family, we now have feuding gangs. So instead of Montagues and Capulets, we've got the Jets and the Sharks. Now the gangs are feuding uh, over racial tensions. The Jets are a white gang and the Sharks are a Puerto Rican gang. Now we have a Romeo character, his name is Tony, and we've got a Juliet character, her name is Maria. Tony is a former Jet and best friends to the leader of the Jets, the, uh, his name is Riff. Juliet is Maria and Maria is the sister of Bernardo, the leader of the Sharks. Basically, the plot line follows exactly the same way through. There's a lot of tragedy. There's star-crossed lovers. Even the famous balcony scene that you find in Romeo and Juliet appears in West Side Story, right? So instead of being a balcony, it's held at a fire escape. The addition to West Side Story is the music and dance. So the music is really important in, mood, in setting the mood and moving the story forward. The dance is used as choreography in order to create the fight scenes. So all the fight scenes are actually carried out through dance. It's a beautifully done production. The music and the dance really sets the tone and helps drive the passion and drive the story forward. It was so influential that Michael Jackson redid West Side Story in his short video and song, Beat It. Now, Beat It again updates and modernizes the story so the plot and the music become modernized for an 80s audience. So instead of being Sharks and Jets, which are fictional gangs, it's actually set between the Crips and the Bloods. Um, the story goes that Michael Jackson actually hired real Crips and Bloods from L.A. and brought them in to help create the production of, of uh, Beat It. The song follows very much like the ideas carried out through West Side Story. Um, there's some framing devices used in Beat It, as well as some other songs on the album Bad, which mirror Romeo and Juliet. In this one, Michael Jackson is the hero, and he tends to uh, serve as a bridge between the two gangs. And we actually get a happy ending here, as opposed to the tragedies that you find in West Side Story and Romeo and Juliet. So, for your journal, if you're going to describe, analyze, interpret, and judge these three productions, you're looking at the plot, which is carried through, and then also the music and dance and how that creates the mood and the tone. Also, you're looking at how the dance, a movement-based kind of form of communication, tells us what's happening in the story and also tells us how the fights and those kinds of things and the action take place. So describe your plot, describe the music, describe the dance, 
analyze how the music and dance create that story and how that's also carried through through a more uh, contemporary version of the story. And then when you interpret it, you're interpreting how the dance can be used as a form of communication, how music can be used as a form of communication, and also how that story or plot becomes another form. We move from literary communication to musical or temporal communication, right? And how that's carried out throughout these two productions. And then lastly, you want to judge how these three connect and if they communicate their ideas effectively. This is a great opportunity for Journal 3, for Module 3. Um, I highly recommend taking a look at these in the YouTube comments and in my email. I'll go ahead and link uh, a clips of uh, West Side Story and the Beat It video. I'll also link to Spark Notes' review of Romeo and Juliet in case you have not read that play. Um, and feel free to go ahead and draw the connections and parallels between these three productions. All right, thanks everybody and good luck on writing your journal.
Chico! 